Um, so we were at the house and my manager called me and he was like, so there's this opportunity that you're busy for, but I'm just letting you know just in case. I was like, what, what is it? And they were like, well, she is not like everybody else. She knows what we're thinking and she gives it a name. She's a goddess. What's your name? Kayla. No wonder I feel so drawn to you. You looked at me. Kayla, Eva, and an A. Familiar names create this bias that essentially binds people together. Donald Glover has been my complete icon since I was a little kid. Like, first favorite artist, pretty much. When I heard about it, I was like, tell me everything. I want to know every element of this, like, please. And then I got the script sent over, and I'm not a person to read scripts. I don't, I'm not, like, jumping out of my seat to <laughs> give a shit about stuff. But I was sitting there, and I, for the first time in my life, was like, let me read this shit! And I'm, like, sitting there, and I read the entire script in one seating, which is the first time I've ever done that in my life. So that was like a big tell for me. I'm sure we could get you an artist pass, right? Do I have to pay you? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're part of the tribe now. We got you. Total backstage access. That's great. But I cannot miss Naja. Honestly, like, playing the character is, is very insane, kind of, because, like, she's a narcissist and maybe a sociopath. You think Nyjah lays in bed all day? You think she stays in bed and learns all those dance moves? No, but that's because Nyjah is special. Exactly, and so are you. I'll see you downstairs. You know, she has this warmth to her and she like brings you in, but then switches it and, and just completely uses it against you. And it's really sad. I mean, Eva's a C word, if I do say so myself. She's bad. Name? Kayla. You must have had a rough childhood. Did people ever call you things as a child? Dyke, liar, stupid, pig. What are you afraid of? Nothing. Are you afraid of death? No. Why? Because I think it's beautiful. It's been crazy to, to, to play Eva and then have Dom, you know, on the other side being Dre. And there was this moment we were shooting the campfire scene and when she gets up, you know, she hears the music and we're all like, there's no music, what are you, hear? What are you, what are you talking about? I'm just gaslighting her. She played it in such a way that was so heartbreaking. There's this moment she like stands up and she's screaming. You're all the fucking liars! And she's like, the festival, I miss the festival. And she runs off sitting there doing it. I, was, I got this like feeling in my chest. I was like, oh, the girls are so evil. It's a 40 minute drive to the festival. By the time you even you get there. You took my phone while I was asleep and I wanted. Give me my fucking phone. She is absolutely incredible. This girl can cry in the blink of an eye. When we were doing the first scene, which is in here actually, we were just doing one of the takes and she just started crying in the middle of it and it caught me off guard. And I talked to her afterwards and I was like, how the fuck you do that? Teach me how to do it. She tried to teach me and she was like, you just think about how you cry. And she just sat there and she cried. It was insane. And I have to say, I was really nervous going into this and like just worried I was gonna be bad or not know what I was doing. And she made it so easy for me. She's so welcoming and she's so talented. It's scary, you know, when she's like breaking shit and screaming in my face. I mean, I'm blown away by her every scene we do. Kayla, this is not healthy. This is not healthy. The whole experience has been so perfect and I, I really truly couldn't have asked for a better first experience in acting. I've spent the whole week just constantly thinking about, oh my god, the fans are gonna love this part. The death scene is really, really cool. <laughs> it's really cool. And I'm like living out my dream. I'm dying. Like not like not like dying, like I'm dying. But when I was a kid, <laughs> when I was a, when you're a kid and you like play pretend and everything, I always wanted to be the one to die, because it's like, oh my god, it's so cool. Let's go. Yeah, you belong here. I know you're stronger than this. Your energy. 